Hallelujah. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ankiru Gochuku. My husband's name is uh, Brother Ugochuku Modestus. While our baby name is Chichetaram Munachimso Philip Divine Ugochuku. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Five names. I blessed. thank God for making us a choosing. Thank you, Father. We, we joined choosing 2010. I also want to thank God for breaking the yokes of 11 years barrenness in my life. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you Father. Thank you. Clap unto God for that great miracle. Thank you, God of chosen. Thank you, Father. My testimony goes like this. In fact, it's a long story, but I will cut it short. The testimony started 2018. When we planted a, a branch in our area, in our area. Before we attend Ibobo 1, now we are now in Ibobo 7. So one day, me and my husband, we are in the house. We were just discussing that this our area, there is no any chosen branch. And he said, yes, so. Would that even when rain falls, it will be hard for us to go to our branch. And I told him, ah, if we have choosing branch in this area, it will be good and it will be easier to us to go. He said yes. So we started putting it into practice. So before you know it, him and his one of our brother in the branch, they went to a place, they saw um, a space there, they paid for it. So we started planting, putting things in that place. By the special grace of God, we started supplying blocks in that place. So we started planting, building that branch. After everything, he left pulpit there. So one day he called one furniture that he wanted to do furniture in our parlor. Before he now remember, I said, no, that he have not done pulpit in the branch. So when I overheard them discussing it, and I come out, I told him he want to do pulpit. He said, yes. I said, okay, you do one, let me do one. So. I told him when I was going, I told him, settle the furniture man. When I come back, I will give you my money. He said, okay. So that 2018, during the enemy submitted, I came, the, I came to the program. And that day, because ever since I got married, my issue is menstrual pain. When I go to scan, they will tell me that my, I have fibroid. That if I do not go to operation, there is no way I will conceive. Even sometimes the doctor, they will be asking me, are you into family planning? I say, no, I'm still expecting. So each time my measure cycle come, it will become a problem. So that very day he came out, I was under considerate whether to come to the program or not. And he gave me money that I should go. And, and I was afraid to tell him whether to go or not. So I now told him, why can't you join me? Let's go to the program. And I said, okay, both of us, we came. And I was receiving that pain. I could not get up. So I waited though until our daddy manned the pulpit. He measured my case. He said, you that woman over there that are receiving that pain in your body, in your, in your tummy, I command you to receive it in Jesus' name. Hey. Immediately, I jumped up, I claimed it. It's as if they poured cold water on my body. So when we got home, I told him, ah, today's program did not pass me by you. The next morning, I woke up in time, I jumped up and said, I'm going to this program, being on Sunday. So after that, uh, August, July, I mean, June, July, I, um, I missed my period. Hmm. When I go to scan, scan confirm me pregnant. Power! Power! Thank you, Lord. So, after everything, I started carrying the pregnancy till nine months. When I, I delivered that baby, the next day, that baby gave up. So I lost that pregnancy, that baby. So I will keep on continuing faith because I know what this God of chosen will do. After all, they have told me that I cannot conceive, that even if I conceive, that during the period of eight months, that my husband will die. Or if I want to put to bed, it's either I will die with my baby. So I'm not convinced. I say, God, if this baby paid the price of me and my husband, no problem. I know that he will return the glory back to me. So 2019, God of chosen visited me again. July, I mean, June la last year, God of Chosen visited me. So this year, February, I put to bed. 
Thank you, Father. So, Thank you, God of Chosen. This is the baby. God of Chosen visited me with a bouncy baby boy. Power! So, uh, on that day, on that day of my delivering, my husband took me to the hospital early in the morning and he left. I was only one there. I keep on believing this God. So, during the time the labor hold me and I, I wore my apron, one choosing pastor, um, I saw one choosing pastor when I want to enter the theater. So immediately when I want to open the door, he called me, said, Sister, wait. He prayed for me. He said, you are a choosing. You will go there as a choosing, uh, as a Hebrew woman and come out. So I said, Amen. So when I got to that place, somebody is all in, in the theater already. They took me to resting room. I was there. Immediately they took me to theater. It's not up to 30 minutes. I put to bed. Power! Like Hebrew women, like the chosen women. Thank you, Lord. I want to return all this glory to this God of the chosen, who made me and my husband to stand firm for good 11 years, who did not allow us to put to shame, hmm. who proved the enemy, who, who uh, I mean, who proved, who, I mean, who make a way when there is no way in my life, who proved, who told the enemy that their, their word is failed, because it's only him who can do this or that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my pastor, heaven at last. All the family member, heaven at last. Including me and my family, heaven at last. I love all the choosing one. Choosing the first class in Jesus' name. Amen. Your husband, tell us again. Jesus. You say this is how many years you're covering now? And just as 11 I'm, years. I'm, 11. 11 years. God of choosing is so great. So let your husband speak now. Choose it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can see the baby rejoicing there. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. It would appear that this is where we are going to end life testimonies of today. But I'm sure you will permit me to share some of the great moves of the power of God in the Abuja program of last Sunday. There again, God of choosing manifested the fullness of his power, as has always been in every crusade. As soon as the pastor came to the pulpit, it happened everywhere. And before we knew it, the news came, the testimonies, 36 years born, deaf, and dumb, was let loose. He started speaking and hearing automatically. And then he was followed by 23 years, deaf and dumb, set loose, started speaking and hearing. Another 17 years, deaf and dumb from the womb, also started hearing and speaking. We also had a case of 12 years and on and on, seven years, five years, 14 years, so many that indeed, if any person starts recording it, you know, your notebook will finish there. And we also, it wasn't just for deaf and dumb. We had people that were blind, totally blind. 13 years blindness. Man was set free, he started seeing totally and absolutely. Another woman, another woman also totally blind as a result of glaucoma. That was her testimony and the testimony of her daughter that her mother has not been seen as a result of glaucoma. But when the pastor prayed, the glaucoma was discharged from the eyes and she started the same. There were other cases of people that were paralyzed. We had 20 years yoke of paralysis and so many, I, I don't know if I begin to count them, one year, two years, three years, there are so many who will not have enough time to take them. And yet, one day headache, nobody can take it away. So if it is one year, six months, three months, we must appreciate God big time for all this miracle that takes place instantly. I'd like us to clap unto God, appreciate it, magnify the name of the Lord. I told you in the morning of the case of the woman that had all her body dismembered, her bones, her past her body were all 
separated, totally collapsed. But when the pastor spoke on that program, all the body came back together. She became hale and hearty and started walking and standing. Clap unto God again and I appreciate it. Clap unto this great God. I'm not sure. I also talked about madness. There were a number of people that were mad. And God has chosen to release them in that program. Praise the Lord. And so, we will stop testimony here for now so that our pastor will come to minister the word of